first we need to load the model. You can select it and press enter. Once loaded, we can delete the parts we don't need on the model. Sometimes outfits come in separate parts. Delete everything of that outfit. Now, press A to select all and then H to hide it. Now let's get the other part we need, in this case an outfit. So we're going to hide the parts of the outfit that we need. Again, it's in separate parts. I'll select all and delete. Press Alt H to unhide everything. Now we want to join the two parts of the outfits by pressing Ctrl and J. Now press Tab and go to Remove Doubles. Removing doubles will get rid of any seams that the object may have. Now on the right side select modifiers. This is where you'll find the armature modifier. This item doesn't have an armature so select one. Now if we go to pause mode we can test if the armature worked. Select a bone and rotate it by simply pressing R. As you can see this one's not working. Let's make sure the head works. So pause the neck bone. As you can see that's working. So, double check it's selected on an armature and then go to data. As you can see, the bone names are different to the default Mass Effect bones. This is why it's not pausing when moving a bone. So now we need to hide them and import the same model we used for the outfit and select that armature, hide it, delete the rest. Now unhide all, select the armature and see that it's in pause mode still, turn it to object mode. Now go to the XPS tab on the left and show all under bones. Go into edit mode. and select all the bones of the head, including the neck, as I show. Now, invert the selection, either like that way or control I, and delete these bones. Select the other armature once out of edit mode and go into show all and then edit. Now select the head again. And delete all. Now we want to join the armatures, but we need to know which bone this is, which is spine upper B. So select both bones and control J. Go into edit mode and select the neck bone. Once selected, go to the bone tab on the right. As you can see, it's the neck bone and we need its parent to the spine upper B. Select it. Go out of edit mode and make sure 
both objects are selected to armature. Select the armature, go back into pose mode and test the bones. As you can see that's now working. Now test the neck. As you can see the armor is not moving around the neck area. So select the armor, go to data, go to head neck lower and change that to neck. Head neck upper and change that to neck one. Now pause the bone again. As you can see that now works. Turn it to object mode. Select all. And export the item. Now this is where I will name it as generic item dot mesh or new dot mesh. Load it in XPS. And you can already see that there's a fault. It's a simple fix, it just means we missed something. Go back into Blender and go to the head. We need to change chest 2 to spine upper B. Select all. And export again. Now remove this model and reload. The problem is now fixed. Now we're going to sculpt the head a little bit to change it. So go to sculpt mode and select the grab tool. You can play around with any of the tools but this one I prefer. Make sure the mirror mode is in Z not X. For models facing this way it will mirror the wrong side. Play around until you get what you want. Go out of sculpt mode when you're ready and back into object mode. Select all and export. Now this is when I name it as new dot mesh so I don't lose the original model. When I load it, I like the edits. If I didn't, I would reload the generic dot item dot mesh and change it. Now the dots that we saw were caused by the armor. Go into the edit and delete the vertices. Now when we reload the model, them dots shouldn't be there. Now for editing armour, some people include PSDs. So in GIMP, I'm now changing the colours. Once finished with your edits, simply just export the texture, replacing the original. On XPS, press F8 to reload and see your texture changes. Now I'm going to show you how to separate the textures in GIMP to get the te uh, tattoos of the Asari. Go to Components, Decompose and press OK. This new layer needs to be changed to Colours. Close the original, go to image and change it to RGB. Now colour to alpha. 
This will turn the white to alpha, but we need the black to alpha, so change that. Control F to repeat on each layer. Make one layer visible and export that. Now make another layer visible and hide the other one. Now do it for the next one. And now we have three layers of tattoos from Asari. I made this using a PSD I made by having all the tattoo layers on top of the base Asari texture and added a colour layer. So I want to use this texture. I just want to get rid of them white bits, certain areas I don't need it. So select it to colour and colourise it to whatever colour you need. So I export this just to see what it looks like. Press F8 and that's the new look. I want to change it a little bit more. I really love that look, but I'll just want that little bit extra to it. So I'll change these two new layers to how the other layer looks by changing its colour and then colourising them. When I'm happy, I export the file again and reload in XPS. Now I'll load the eye texture to change the eye. Because one didn't work, I decided to use the oval tool to select the eye. Now go to colorize and it'll just change this area in color. Change it the color that you want. Press F8 and see what it looks like. Now I want to change it to another model. So in Blender, I select all the bits that I want and delete the rest and change it to armature. Now this model has the same bones as the original armature of the ARIA model, so does not need any edits to the vertices on the data. As you can see it rotates perfectly. Export all. And now I have the model in XPS and I just need to change the textures to match the head. The arms are done, I just need to edit the other texture to match. But because I've already used this colour and it's based on the same texture, all I have to do is go to Colorize and select the last preset. This will colour it to the same colour I used for the other texture. And now I'm going to colorise the jewellery. Just personalise it a little bit more. And that's what she looks like in the end. I hope this tutorial helped. 
Thank you for watching.